Here's problem 6-7. A roller coaster car has a mass of 500 kilograms when fully loaded with passengers. The car passes over a hill of radius 15 meters as shown. At the top of the hill, the car has a speed of 8 meters per second. What is the force of the track on the car at the top of the hill? All right, so it's not asking for the resultant force, which would be MA. It's asking for the force of the track on the car at the top of the hill. That will be the normal force of the hill on the car, or of the track on the car, if you think of it that way. Let's do a free by diagram of what's going on here. We've got weight of the car, which is down, mg. We have the normal force of the track on the car, that'll be n. And there's really no other, there's no force in the forward direction because the car is moving at constant velocity. So there's no acceleration in the forward direction. So really our net acceleration is just going to be centripetal. And it's going to be towards the center of this circle. That will be our positive acceleration direction. So there is our free by diagram right there of this car. And we're going to use that to set up our Newton's second law equation. We'll set it up in the y direction. Summation of all the forces in the y direction is equal to mass times acceleration. And this will be equal to all the forces added up with the acceleration being the positive direction. So in this case, mg is in the positive direction. The normal force is in the opposite direction. So we'll write the right-hand side as mg minus the normal force. That is our Newton's second law equation right there. And we can use this to, to solve for the normal force. Bring the normal force to the left-hand side and the MA to the right-hand side. We have the normal force is equal to MG minus MA, which we could write as MG minus mass times centripetal acceleration V squared over R. Let's put in our numbers. This will be 500 kilograms times 9.8 minus 500 times the velocity squared which is 8 meters per second squared over the radius 15. So this normal force is going to equal 500 times 9.8 minus 500 times 8 squared divided by 15. 2,767 newtons. That is the force of the track on the car. Not the net force. The net force is the weight minus this normal force. But this is the normal force of the track on the car and that's what we were asked for. Uh, 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 uh.